Hi everyone, welcome back to Organized Intention. I know you guys haven't seen me in a long time, but I wanted to give you a guys an update and let you know where I am and what we've got going on in the future. So if you see me looking at some notes, I'm at my office right now, so please bear with me. I'm gonna talk about our debt situation, our finances, our family, all of those things. But first, family update. Um, I hope everyone is doing okay. My family fared very well during the pandemic. We didn't have anyone in our immediate family who contacted the virus, which is absolutely wonderful. And I know that so many people have suffered and I, I do truly hope that everyone is, is doing okay. Luckily, both my husband and I were able to continue working through the pandemic. We did not have to work from home or, or any of those things and we were able to, to keep going in terms of work. Our pay didn't change, but our insurance costs did go up at the beginning of 2021. And as you guys may remember, we pay for all of our health insurance out of pocket because my employer does not provide health insurance for me. So um, we have to pay for our health insurance through my husband's employer and it's quite expensive. We have been blessed with some additional income from my second job. I ended up being a part-time tutor as well as a part-time instructor at a local community college. And so I was able to balance some of those expenses thus far in 2021 with that additional income. It is not very uh, high income, but, but it, is, it is something and I am grateful and blessed to have it. I did teach two online classes this spring and I am on the schedule to teach two more in the fall, but uh, that is pending enrollment is high enough to justify um, actually having those courses. In terms of our living situation, we were staying with my mother. I know you guys probably remember that from um, previous videos. We were staying with her after we sold our home in an attempt to um, pay off all of our debt. And so we have now moved into a two bedroom apartment um, in our same town. We are on the waiting list for a three bedroom apartment there, but at the time all they had was a two bedroom available. And so that is what we took. Um, we are hoping that a three bedroom will open this summer, but for now we are in two bedrooms. There are four of us. So my husband, myself, and my two sons, they are sharing a bedroom. So in the future, when you guys see our budget update videos, you are going to see rent factored into that. In terms of our debt, we were able to pay off my car in March of 2021 with the stimulus checks and with being able to save so much money from living rent free, we were able to pay off that debt. So as of right now, we are completely debt free. The only thing is that my husband's vehicle is 18 years old, it is a 2003 and uh, it is starting to have some mechanical issues. And so we are actually going to have to replace his vehicle. Um, unfortunately, we don't have large amounts of cash set aside to do that with. So we are going to have to finance a vehicle for him and then hopefully pay off the balance quickly like we did with my car. So you will probably see that in the future as well in those budget videos. In terms of the sinking funds, we have put aside a larger sum of money. We are taking a family vacation to Tennessee in June. This will be our first vacation as a family other than short weekend trip type trips. This will be a large one week family vacation. This will be our first one since our first son was born. He is now almost 13. So um, we do not do this very often, but, but that is a priority that we have made. Um, so that will be happening in June, and that will be on our sinking funds as well. That's a new category that you will see. Um, we have it fully funded, um, so I am hoping that the rest of our categories we can build back up. In terms of our sinking funds as well, they did take a hit when we had to move because, as I said before, we lived with my mother, so we shared a living room and kitchen space with her and we had to buy all new furniture for our apartment. Uh, so in terms of our kitchen wares and all of those things, pots and pans, a dining table, as well as living room furniture, that all had to be purchased. Um, so 
we spent uh, between that and the deposit, we spent around two thousand dollars moving. Um, but hopefully, uh, that will be all that we have to do. And when we move into the three bedroom, we may have to purchase a bed or some other bedroom furniture, maybe. Um, but we are going to try to keep costs down as much as we can. So the moving process for us was expensive, but we are now in our home and don't have to uh, outlay any more money for those sorts of costs right now. In terms of school, uh, my husband does work for a local school, so our children are transitioning uh, to that school system in the fall. So we are um, excited about that. This year, the school system that they are in um, has continued to uh, have quite a bit of virtual learning days, and that is very hard for me um, because I'm having to bring my children to work with me. And while I'm very blessed and very lucky that my office allows me to do that, unfortunately, it is taking a toll on my work and my coworkers as well. And so I have to. Uh, make sure that I put the children in a school where I am almost certain, unless something something tragic happens, that they will be in school for five days a week um, since my husband and I both work. Also, it will be more convenient for us in terms of transportation, uh, in terms of, of a lot of things for them to go to the same school that my husband goes to every day. They will just ride with him. Um, so extra... Um, pickups and all the things. My mother had been having to handle a lot of those things and I would take the children in the mornings, but that is no longer an issue since they will be with, with him now. So that is what we were doing with them. I have also switched up my planning process since you guys last saw me. So I have been using a, I still use a happy planner. I use a dashboard happy planner and an hourly, uh, hourly happy planner. So I use both of those and it helps keep me on schedule and I will update you guys on the system and show you that in a video. I have also continued with my reference binder. I have added a few more things um, to my planning system. So I will also show you guys an update on that as well. In terms of an update on my health, um, I had gastric bypass in December of 2020. I have currently lost 83 pounds. I feel great. I haven't had any complications following that. And um, obviously, continued weight loss is, is one of my major goals for the year. I would like to lose 92 more pounds to meet my goal weight. And um, I would like to lose at least 30 more pounds this year. So I will be sharing my goals for 2021 in a future video as well. There are several articles and accompanying videos for my blog that I want to post moving forward. I want to update you on budgets, goals, um, where my life is, meal prep, shopping, debt payoff, all of those things. I want to keep you guys updated on that. So please, um, please feel free to let me know of any content that you would like to see specifically. Um, I'm still doing cash envelopes and so I would love to give that to you guys as well. Please let me know um, in the comments below. If you have any questions, stay tuned and thank you for your patience. Um, I look forward to more videos in the future. Until then, uh, keep living with organized intentions.